riders on their way out for the final race of the SGP series in 2022. We are here in the Marion Rose Motor Arena in Torin. It's the Four Nature Solutions FIM Speedway GP of Poland. And uh, we have enjoyed it thoroughly, as have thousands and thousands of people in here tonight. Terrific turnout once again. A real privilege to be here tonight. And uh, let's hope we have a fabulous conclusion to events here. I'm sure we will. We've got a terrific lineup. Top two in the world, Martin Vasilik fighting for his Grand Prix future. Matsei Janowski trying to re-establish himself. He's going to finish in the top six now, now nicely, so that's yeah. a great uh, great move by him. Better in Melilla two weeks ago and much better again here tonight in Torrance. So um, uh, good news all round for those two riders in particular. Madsen coming up to gate number four. Don't think he's going to be too excited about that, but you just never know. No, I don't think he's... Um dreaming of making the start i think he's just thinking about what's he going to do when he gets there last okay so on the inside <laughs> is bartos smiles looking red martin vasilik out of gate number two in blue matze janowski out of gate three in white and leon Matson out of gate number four in yellow and um, uh, i sense that uh, if leon can't get off the start and nobody's been able to do it in 22 races so far tonight Will he be able to pull off something pretty special? It'd be the time to do it, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah the most important race of the night. It's done well. He's been up and down, uh, um, Leon Madsen, tonight. Started with a win, then a last, then a win, then a last, then a win. I mean, he's had uh, quite an eventful night, one way or another. He's had a crash. I mean, um, uh, he uh, certainly uh, can steal the limelight, uh, Leon Madsen, that's for sure. But uh, there's no doubt Bartos Smarslik has really uh, come on strong in his last three outings. So the final of the night, the conclusion of the SGP series here in Torin this evening. Green lights on, away we go, Martin Vasilik! Wow, what a start, the final, absolutely nailed it. Bartos Smarslik coming through in second place, here comes Leon Manson rushing through into third place with Janowski Ooh, out the back. Nice. Leon Manson, how on earth did he move, move uh, out of the way there? Certainly nearly collected the world champion on the way through. Janowski forcing his way back into third place. Wants to be on the podium tonight. But for Martin Vasilik, what a start. Looking like a winner from there. He certainly is. He's not doing anything flash. He's just riding the right lines. He's got that bike set up absolutely perfect just to find the traction he needs. He's taking the shortest route around the inside. It's too far now around the fence. He knows that. He's got Smarslik now giving chase taking even shorter route there but I just can't see that he's going to find a way past Martin Vasilik down the back straight for the last time in the final what a night it's been for the Slovakian rider he comes through there in flying corners what a night for Martin Vasilik wins here in Torun in 2022 what a way to finish the season congratulations to him Bartos Smarslik back in second place the world champion just could not do anything about Vasilik and Leon Madsen and Janowski battling hard with Janowski. Just about hanging on there, but uh, what a night it's been for Martin Vasilik. Two-time Grand Prix winner in 2022. And what a way to finish. Wow, yeah, that was spectacular. That place in Gorjov as well, so it's, it's, uh, it's a shame for him just picking up an injury at the wrong time has cost him dearly. It has indeed, but that's long forgotten right now. Clearly delighted with that. Conditions were right. Best man on the night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, rider of the night. And he's been rock solid. And uh, when it really mattered, he backed himself. He had gate two in the semi-final, gate two in the final. Yeah. Even with the world champion, he knew the champion was going to be alongside him. And absolutely roared into the first corner. Result of the final then. Vasilik wins in fine start out in front. Smarslik back in second place. Leon Madsen just about stealing third place off of Matsei Janowski who will be a bit disappointed not to be on the podium tonight so we've got the top two in the world in second and third and uh, Martin Vasilik a terrific win for him and you've got to believe he has every chance of being a Grand Prix rider next year now yes I would think so I think he's done enough to uh, show the organizers that he deserves that place and uh, Easily the best rider tonight, most consistent rider, doing everything right, backing himself to make the starts off gate two, even allowing a three-time world champion to come off the inside gate. But uh, no, fantastic display 
And I've got to say, with Szmarsdyk and Janoski in the final, this Polish crowd would have expected a home win, but that man there had other ideas. Yeah, he broke their hearts with that start, that's for sure. And clearly absolutely delighted, and rightly so. It's been a tough time. He has been injury-prone in recent seasons. He tends to pick up a nasty injury at some point, but uh, shows great uh, character and grit and determination. Let's just watch this start again. Yeah, did everything right. Just roared away. Didn't, he knew he'd got to come across Smilesnik, but he was so far ahead of Smilesnik, it really didn't matter at that point. And a big scrap going on at the back for third and four from the... Uh, place on the podium but no that was an absolutely perfectly worked start from the rider in blue there Martin Vasilik just got the bike launching from the start the clutch set up and uh, his composure stature on the bike just saying it all just smooth doesn't even feel like he needs to go and find any grip he just rides around the shortest that was tight time. wasn't it you it was. actually picked up on I that did. early on in the race it scared me yeah, it did indeed yeah it took your breath away for a moment but uh, there's no doubt that Leon Madsen did very well to make the podium yeah. from gate number four Janowski will be disappointed to have missed out he looked like a potential winner earlier on he would see the battle for third place late on in the race and uh, Madsen coming through but that man out in front I've seen him do this before so have you and there's no doubt when he's got that starting ability and he really absolutely jet propelled away his confidence just builds and builds and builds and then to have that confidence to take on the world champion and the world number two backed himself yeah i've got to believe that's going to prove to be uh, decisive in the outcome of the wild card it's always about confidence it's the same with that man as any other speedway rider and when he knows the setup's right the bike's right works yeah so a brilliant night of speedway here in the marion rose motor arena tonight been a pleasure to be here that's for sure so uh here's the uh, points that are handed out for the winners and losers tonight 20 big points for martin vasilek 18 for smarslik leon Madsen on 16 matt saying and obviously 40. mickelson that's a good performance from him 12 lingren 11 lebedev's 10 Bewley 9 Kasparina 8 and uh, so on and so on. The overall standings, of course, are going to be absolutely crucial now because we want to know who's third. So we will have them for you right now so we can see exactly what is the conclusion of this championship. And Mjernowski, uh, wow, unbelievable. That is quite a dramatic turnaround where he had charged into third place. World champion Smarslik, Leon Madsen, silver medal for him. A bronze for Matej Janowski. I can't quite believe that. Zudek slips out. Uh, and Fredrik uh, Lindgren in fourth. Robert Lambert in fifth. He's guaranteed for next year. Dan Bewley already was. Patrick Dudek, wow, slips out of the top six. But um, you've just got to believe that he's going to be reliant on a pick for next year. Matsey Janowski's performance, I've got to say, and a medal, it was looking so unlikely for so long. That is quite yeah, a yeah. staggering result. Yeah, we, we were only saying a couple of rounds ago that uh, we couldn't see how he was going to, with his current form, stay inside the top six. Uh, Patrick Dudek looked like he was easily going to do that and was fighting for a medal. And, uh, well, Dan Bewley's in, so that means that the injured Max Frick now will also qualify. Absolutely. So we've got Jack Holder as well in the Grand Prix Series next year as a, as a courtesy of his performance in Glasgow in the GP Challenge, but that's for later on. Barca Smarzik, just uh, his new changing room on the centre green there. So I'm um, uh, um, uh, quite happy to do the brand new suit on for the presentations. And uh, he will be involved, of course, on two occasions. He will be on the podium for the uh, result tonight and, of course, uh, the winner of the championship itself. Um, uh, as I say, just while we're waiting for the riders to get themselves together, great night of speedway. I think possibly the best Grand Prix all year. Yep, it was a nice way to finish, and the uh, Toron circuit never disappoints. Gives us great racing every single time. It does indeed. And uh, it is a superb stadium, and uh, it, it is often the conclusion of the series. We have been down in Australia, of course, uh, where we've seen um, uh, the Speedway season finish. And natural fact, uh, Jason Doyle actually won his, won his World Championship in Australia, in Melbourne. But um, uh, we will wait and see. But uh, riders now coming forward. We will have a uh, extensive presentation for you this evening. So please be, uh, stay uh, with us. So let's um, uh, get some reaction now. Scott Nichols is out on the centre green and he's got uh, tonight's winner with him and that's Martin Vasilik.
Yeah, your final round in 2022 winner, Martin Vasilik. Martin, you start the night off superbly and you finish off exactly the same way. Yeah, I'm very happy, really. It's an uh, it's amazing feeling win the Grand Prix, so uh, I'm very happy right now. And, uh, yeah, what a, what a finish season with the first place. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. And also, the same way, I would like to congratulate all the boys who, who uh, win the medals this year. And, uh, yeah, just well done, boys. Yeah, I know you would have wanted to be fighting for a medal, but obviously injuries hit you again this year. And... Uh, you're possibly relying on that wild card now, but no better way to put yourself in that shop window. Two wins in the calendar, a second place as well. So uh, looks set to be back in 2023. We'll see what happens in the future, but uh, anyway, if I uh, want to be in a Grand Prix, I will do my best to fight for the medal. So this is my dream and uh, I will go for it. Well, let's hope those dreams continue to come true and well done tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Smashing effort for Martin uh, Vasilev.